I'm a kid who grew up in the 1960s, so everybody wanted to be an astronaut, everybody wanted to go to space. I actually was really excited as a kid about entomology, so I was that, that, that kid who was always flipping over rocks and what kind of bugs were under there. So as I worked more and more into the extreme physiology realm, obviously spaceflight came back again. So um, I started out as an investigator on a space mission in 1998, the Neuralab Space Shuttle mission. And as that developed, it became clear that there was a need for investigators to be on board the spacecraft during the mission. So me and my colleague Jay Bucky were selected as payload specialist astronauts, so I got to bring it all together doing physiology in low Earth orbit. The best part of my job is working with the next generation. So if it's students in the classroom, helping them open up how to think in those logical connections that are always created by physiology is a great opportunity. So, you know, we live in a, in a time where Wikipedia is there and it's easy to Google things and we can get facts very, very quickly. But it's that thinking process that physiology creates and how to instill that in the next generation as they solve the problems that are health and medical and biological related. I think that's the great part of my job. For somebody who's looking at a career in physiology, find yourself a good mentor. And a good mentor is somebody who helps you think and helps you pose questions and then helps you learn the tools to understand them.